us nowadays in the 21st century, the word peace is no more than a mystery. From among the first peas that come to our mind, poverty, persecution, and pollution will rhyme. Words that indeed pierce the hearts of humankind. Words that would make us sigh by and by. In this time of ours, in this globalized world, when the latest technologies and tweets fill the boards, when people's lives are packed in files of money, status, power, and endless desires, when scientific discoveries can't discover our souls, when sophisticated mansions stand with spiritless mold, when iman, faith, and commitment gradually fade, when we secretly wish deep down inside that the darkness inside us would never be disclosed. In this time we live where fashion, fortune, and fame is all what people gain and have no shame of moving away from what should really be maintained. In this time of ours when ruthless crimes happen overnight in every innocent sight, when sorrows and cries are hidden beneath every plight, and warmongers keep on bragging about their might. Of all the destruction, mistrust, and distress, the day will come when beauty will overcome this mess. The hope in our hearts that sparks inside tells us sooner or later Imam Mahdi, the Imam of time, will rise and realities will confide. When the time arrives, he'll appear like a sunrise. He'll revive the sad shores of humanity and sweep away humankind's wretchedness and atrocity. It is at his time that rainfalls will pour down. It is through him when the downtrodden will be given crowns. It is with his appearance that dust becomes dawn. It is with his rule that justice will prolong. It is with his advent that right replaces wrong. It is at his time that salawats become strong. It is with him that our Fridays no longer become long. It is with this phrase that we will rejoice all along. It is him, the last of the twelve Imams, Mahdi Qa'im Sahib al Zaman. Yet, dear brothers and sisters, the hope in our hearts does not suffice to wait for the Imam without any enterprise, without lending a hand, without supporting the oppressed, without making du'as or raising our hands up to Allah, without relieving ourselves of the shadows that lie on our chest, without helping the poor or an orphan that walks by our door, while we are aware of this Qur'anic phrase that reads, Without making any of these attempts, I wonder how we expect the rise of the Savior of our time. Without standing for justice, without purifying within, how could we claim that we wait for the Qa'im? Day in and day out, the Imam lives by our sides. Yet, we fail to recognize his benevolent presence, his remarkable shine. So go ahead, make your attempt, and do not fear of those who sneer at you from far and from near. If you feel alone in your pursuit of faith, keep on digging, do not lose pace. Know that, know that the Imam, Imam counts, counts on your aid. Know, know that, that he is accompanying you all the way. Know, know that, that he will appear, appear in no time. Ya Sahib al Zaman, we plead for your lead. We beg you to free us of our greed. We ask you to restore our hearts that bleed from damages made without any heed. So the next time we pray for your advent, we would hope to be among those who dwell in your tent. And we would not have to sit in misery and repent for what we have done and what we should have when we utter the words, Allahumma ajil li wadiyyik al-faraj.